at 6. Three Miami University sororities made headlines last spring, accused of trashing the places where they held their formals. Nine News reporter Tony Morona shows us how a fraternity is at the Freedom Center again this time. Instead of raising eyebrows, they are raising awareness. This here is the great Ohio River. Reenacting how slaves crossed here for change. I figure I'm going to spend my last days on this earth a free man. For members of the Kappa Alpha Psi fraternity from Miami University, they also had a change in mind. To bring a positive light on campus, showing that a small chapter can make a big difference. Yeah, I think the entire community is aware of the unfortunate things that took place earlier. Last spring, a sorority hosted a formal at the Freedom Center and is accused of trashing the place. These young men decided to do this to share, to shed more positive light on Greek life. Because one of the five objectives that our fraternity was founded upon was to inspire service in the public interest. So we believe that doing this is not only is not only benefiting us in the long run, but it's benefiting the community. They will take the Freedom Walk. It's 40 miles long from Covington to Oxford. We want to raise money for the Freedom Center um, and focus on their pledge for freedom against slavery, genocide, all across the world. After touring the Freedom Center, the group walked to the Harriet Beecher Stowe House. Her family who lived here were very instrumental in um, bringing about the end of slavery. There wasn't much planning for the mission. They actually called us on August the 8th. It was the first we heard about it. We do feel like any negative situation we can make a positive situation out of, and this is what this comes from. A fraternity marches to raise money and awareness, all because they can. Along the Ohio River, Tony Moronis, Nine News. The fraternity brothers will finish today after walking through the Spring Grove Cemetery where abolitionist Levi Coffin is buried. He allegedly sheltered more than 2,000 freedom seekers. The men plan to finish the trek tomorrow evening in Oxford. It's a nice thing they're doing. Mm -hmm. like Making a difference.